mastering the art of responding when a woman ignores you. In this video, I'll reveal mastering the art of actually responding and not reacting when a woman decides to ignore you. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month in the description below. Let's say you meet a woman you like and things are going well. Perhaps you've just met and are texting all the time. Maybe you're seeing each other regularly. Maybe you are dating a while and things are going well. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, when you least expect it, something happens and she ignores you and doesn't respond straight away. Keeps you on red. Maybe you call her. She doesn't pick up. She pretty much ghosts you. Now what? Before I continue, I need to give this woman in question the benefit of the doubt, as should you ideally as well. There are so many factors and variables as to why you are being ignored. Maybe she got stuck working late. Maybe she received some really bad news. Maybe she's feeling really unwell. Maybe she's playing games with you. Maybe she's disinterested. Maybe she's testing you. Maybe she's met somebody else. Maybe she's childish and immature. Maybe she's just a rude person. Maybe she's toxic. Maybe she's angry at you or insulted. Maybe her phone has died and run out of battery. What if actually she is right there physically with you and she's still ignoring you? What is the excuse and reasoning there? For the sake of this topic and video, the reason or reasons don't actually matter. All that we can focus on realistically is mastering the art of responding when a woman ignores you and not reacting, being chaotic, stressed out and so on. Here is how to do so successfully. Guys, please share your thoughts. Feel free to share your experiences and opinions in the comments section below. Men are logical by nature, meaning we want to solve a problem there and then. When a man is met with the ups and downs and uncertainty of dating a woman who has an opposite nature and way of thinking, he still wants to solve the problem. Gary was texting a girl he liked. They met off a dating app. There was lots of flirting, it was progressing well, and looked promising. Suddenly, again for no logical reason he could think of, she ignored him and never responded to his texts for over a day. Now what? What was he supposed to do? His instinct to be a problem solver made his mind fixate on the following thoughts. She's ignored me, I need to know why. I've messed up, I need to know why. I've made a mistake. I must fix it. I need to solve this issue and get back to good times. She's ignored me. I must make her respond to me. He plots and overthinks and concludes that he should call the girl and see if she answers. He calls her. His instinct tells him to do so. He thinks by calling her, I can directly communicate and see how she responds and go from there. She ignores the phone call never responds back and days later he concedes the fact that she's not interested in him. He feels guilty for trying to solve something that he should never have done. But it was his natural nature to problem solve and in this case after making the phone call he realized she was never going to contact him ever again. Don't do what Gary did, not just making a phone call but trying to solve a problem that's not there. It's really challenging, but ignore your nature and try to see what happens naturally instead and wait and see if she stops ignoring you. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of my videos. The fear and anxiety men feel when a woman ignores them is normal and justifiable as well. Tony went out on a date with a woman he really connected with. 
So much so they confirmed a second date with each other. They were going to go out for dinner and it was in the diary for a Saturday night in the future. That Saturday finally came and Tony texted his date see you tonight. But he never received a reply. He started to panic. He didn't know what was going to happen next. He made deadlines in his head. If I don't hear from her by 12 o'clock midday, I'll text again. Nothing. He kept delaying, was embarrassed to message once more. He had a booking and he didn't know where he stood. By later in the day, he was fearful, anxious. He didn't know if he was going on a date or not. He fought the urge to text her. His mind was going crazy. The restaurant even pressured him. Are you definitely coming tonight? The anxiety had taken over him. He was all over the place, a complete mess. Suddenly, a text came through. Finally, it was her. She sent the following message. Sorry I took ages to reply. I had to work today. I had no reception. See you tonight. Can't wait for dinner with you. He panicked and got stressed for no reason. But also, despite doing so, he never reached out again and heard back from her in the end. In case the worst case scenario, she unfortunately continues to ignore you. Say nothing and push through your fear and anxiety, no matter how long it takes. Sometimes it could take a day or even a week for them to get back in touch. If she wants to respond, she will, irrespective of even if you've got plans booked together. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for, and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and take that first step to turning your life around with BetterHelp. You must fight the urge to confront and instead Try your best to confirm. Now, I know what you're thinking, but I've tried to confirm and they've not confirmed. Well, that's an answer in itself. Look at Tony, for example, in the previous point. He had a dinner date confirmed in his mind and with the restaurant, just not with the girl he was taking out. That's why he texted her, see you tonight. There's nothing wrong with confirming. One message is enough. If she wants to turn up, see you, contact you back, she will. Confirming is healthy, normal. But bombarding, confronting, plenty of calls, backing into a corner is never attractive and doesn't work. Being ignored, not by just women, but by anyone, is rude, annoying, not very pleasant. Naturally, it's going to trigger something inside of us. It's going to make us feel not good enough. It's going to make us feel like we've been manipulated. Like we're wasting our time. Like we're not going to ever be able to get what we want. So naturally, the urge that we have is to confront. Is to maybe even cause a conflict. Men do this sometimes. They can come across very aggressive, intense and unattractive. They'll think to themselves, stop ignoring me. What is going on? Why are you ghosting me? I thought you were different. You should have got back to me ASAP. You're wasting my time. I've got a booking for us. Some men will even send those messages to women. It never works to confront, not just with women, but in life in general. That is why you should confirm instead, but only Obviously, if you've got plans, official plans set already. 
you're getting value from this video, please hit the like button for algorithm and support my channel by becoming an official member. The link for memberships is in the description below. Hopefully this video has helped you conclude men are natural problem solvers and it's their instinct to be logical and think and act to the point. And that fear and anxiety can and will happen when ignored by women, which is a natural healthy response. And that conflict, which is how men can react to one another, is not the right solution when it comes to being ignored. So what is a guy supposed to do in this situation? Mirror her actions. David came home to find his girlfriend being in a foul, horrible mood. He never said or did anything wrong. He also wanted to solve the problem. Is everything okay? Leave me alone, she said. I'm fine. Okay. He tried to confirm she wasn't going to bite or give in. He had no choice but to let her carry on feeling what she was feeling. There was no remedy or solution. He mirrored her by ignoring her in a healthy way, giving space until half an hour later, she was all over him, apologizing for being short. Just had a rough day, really sorry, she said to him. The same can be applied via message. Confirm if you have plans and then mirror, don't push it. Get on with your day and life, be busy and active. Do not dwell and don't let it bother you. Wait and see if she comes back and responds. You have a far greater chance mirroring her ignoring behavior, then questioning it, getting angry and calling her out. That, truthfully, is the art of responding when a woman ignores you.